Hey, this is Scott at Impact Fitness Center. In the video we're going to shoot today is a brief tutorial on how to use the landmine. Landmine is a great addition to anybody's program, but unfortunately a lot of people don't know how to use it. So I'm just going to go through a sampling of exercises that you can do with it. Hopefully you can add it to your program. If you have any questions about it, be sure to contact us here at Impact Fitness Center. The first exercise I'm going to cover is what's called a T-bar row. Many of you have probably seen people wedge a bar into a corner at a gym. Uh, wrap a little hook under the bar and bang out T-bar rows, but over time it damages the wall. Sometimes the bar lifts up on you and it can become unsafe. So the landmine is a great way to keep it stable. T-bar rows are a great exercise for the back. You want to maintain good posture, keep your chest up and out. Drive the bar to the chest, pause at the top, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So this is your basic T-bar row. I'm going to put the bar aside and I'm going to go to a single arm row using the landmine. I'm going to support myself with my right hand on my right leg, keep my chest up and out, get my left leg back, good base of support, and I'm going to take the bar and I'm going to pull it towards the rib cage and down, up and across at the top and back down. So that's a single arm row. From the single arm row, I'm going to take this into a front squat. Front squat, I'm going to rest the bar against my chest. I'm going to get my feet back a little bit. I'm going to pretend I'm sitting into a chair, keep my butt out, back up. Sit down into the chair, get good depth, maintain good posture, uh, and make sure the knees follow the toes. From here, I'm going to go to a push press. So it's the front squat, but we're kind of combining the shoulder press with it. From here, I'm going to take it to a single arm press. I'm just going to take my free hand, put it on my, my hip, bar under the shoulder, and press up. Bar under the shoulder, and press up. From here, I'm going to actually grab this plate. It's a 10 pound bumper plate. Not too heavy, but the exercise I'm going to do is pretty rugged, so it doesn't take much weight. Knees bent, chest out, and I'm going to rotate. As though I'm steering a big steering wheel, I'm going to rotate the bar hip to hip. From here, I'm going to take it into a reverse lunge. I'm going to hold the bar in my right hand, maintain good posture. I'm going to keep the right leg forward and step back with the left. Step back with the left. And to do the other side, I just simply change the hands over. Left leg stays forward. Step back with the right leg. Left leg forward. Step back with the right. Make sure when you're picking the bar up and putting it down, you keep your back safe. And that's it for today. See, I'm out of breath just from those few exercises. Uh, any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Be sure to connect, connect with us on YouTube and Facebook. 